Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about general query logging in the MySQL server. It logs the client connections and statements executed by them. So that's a very a vast login information because you can have a connection that can be running multiple or tons of statements and it will be logging everything. That can be select, update, delete, whatever the statements it will run. It will log every information. So you want to consider uh, you are putting those log information in some of the direct Directory, a beside data directory maybe you know you don't want to fill your data directory or uh, or, or maybe have a lot of space uh, on that uh, uh, disk where you are putting those logs and data if you are putting together okay you can also set a retention period for them we will cover that retention in some of our other video uh, here in this video I'm going to cover two things uh, one uh, how to enable uh, general query login in the MySQL server when it is installed on Windows machine and then uh, pretty much the same procedure uh, we will follow when MySQL server installed in uh, Linux um, so let's go ahead and take a look where exactly these files are where they are created and how to view and the uh, different uh, you know uh, details of them so first of all let me show you the services I'm running on a Windows machine I have a one of the MySQL server installed on called the MySQL AD I have three instances but I'm gonna only consider a demo for one instance right here okay so where exactly the information is saved uh, like if the general query log is enabled or not uh, so that we can take a look uh, from the my INI file um, and uh, if you want to take a look on from, from my INI, INI file where it is it should be here so you will go to the right here at the corner you will say default file and uh, here is your my INI file um, so you can literally open this uh, just copy from here and uh, we can open uh, go to the run or just paste it there so it will open your myani file i'm gonna go a couple of steps back and show you the location first and then open it so it is on c program data mysql mysql server 8.0 and then you have my i i i my dot i and I file okay sorry but this, this is uh, okay uh, this can be different so your my and I file can be different location as well so I will always recommend go to the properties of the service and take a look because if you have done multiple installation you might have put in different folders okay great now we know where the my I uh, dot I and I file is let's open that and here we are gonna hit the control F and say journal and uh, you will see a tab right there or line here say journal and slow query login so look at this one journal log is equal to zero it means the journal log is disabled by default second part journal log file that's the name of the file if we will enable our journal logging so it will say tech brothers dot log file okay where this log file will be created it will be created in the same data folder where your data data files are so c program data my uh, sql my sql server 8.0 and data excuse me so right now we do not see that file there and uh, if we will enable it it will, it will be created here you have option to create on any other location so let's say maybe you want to go on d drive whatever so go on d drive and just create it right there so make a small change here on the location where you would like to create that file in my case i'm going to just go with the default first of all what i need to do i will uh, stop the service okay and then uh, what i will do i will enable it uh, right here make a change Control S and the restart the service. So let's go back here and uh, MySQL start. Does this uh, uh, require a service restart? Uh, that I'm not sure. So if uh, uh, we want to check that, we can check right now. Uh, but in my case, uh, as I'm not using the server for um, production or anything, I just uh, stopped and uh, restart the service uh, to make uh, it effective. Um, okay. So here is the, the new file created called Tech Brothers IT, and uh, that's our log file. So you can see that it doesn't have a whole lot of information right now. But what we are going to do here, we are going to do we are going to open our workbench and then connect to the uh, this uh, mysql server and then write some queries
and then see if those queries are there. So let's uh, go, I'm um, using TBIT and I'm selecting some data. Okay, this is one of the statement I ran. Next, uh, what I would like to do, maybe I would like to say, um, just to use another database uh, you, or, okay, let's do EMP. Just uh, select everything from EMP table. Okay. Now I didn't return us anything. I'm gonna go ahead and say drop EMP just to show you drop table. We ran that statement, table is dropped. Now we go back to the logging and see the information. So you can see that the file size has uh, decreased or increased. It should be actually increased. So now you can uh, further drill into it and take a look. Uh, see the last query that we have uh, run here. So we have a uh, uh, EMP copy and uh, you have uh, uh, let me sh show you. So you have a uh, EMP and uh, here this one. Okay, so we are selecting database and here uh, drop table EMP. Okay, uh, when uh, we ran a couple of queries before, so if you know that uh, this is the timestamp you are coming, um, your month, uh, day, and then you have time, you know, uh, 17, 5 uh, p.m. right here, uh, 35, that's the minutes, and 23 is the second, and then you have microseconds probably, and uh, all the way. So you have this information, you have query. So this give you a lot of information, what time this uh, query did run and all that. So you have seen right here, select asterisk from everything from that table. Okay, so uh, we uh, were able to capture um, our select queries. We were able to select, uh, capture our uh, drop table and all that. So whatever the queries connection is going to run, it's going to capture that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually uh, do one thing. Uh, I'm going to disable this one without uh, um, stopping service. So I'm going to go to the Maya and I file here. Sorry, that test I have not done in. Uh, for myself as well so general and now if I will go ahead uh, and uh, I, I, I I'm not really sure because see if uh, we are uh, do, doing this uh, uh, disabling here so that the service uh, I'm not sure if it only reads when it start maybe that's the one time it reads the configuration what it need to do so if we will just even make this change uh, I don't know how often service comes back and uh, uh, take a look on that one so if we will go back and uh, take a look here and uh, right now we have disabled it without uh, uh, restarting the service or starting the service uh, so department uh, we have uh, select asterisk from I have to do further study on that, like, uh, okay, to implement this, um, your uh, general query login, do you have to restart the service or not? So that one I have to study by myself as well. So this never came in my brain, like, okay, this is one of the questions we should answer this. Uh, so if I go to the program data here and go to the data file there and see if uh, this file here at the end and uh, let's uh, drag all the way and uh, see what we have there. So line is ending here, right here. So we have select asterisk from uh, employee. And uh, what's the last query? We have uh, select databases. So we drop table department. So we are uh, uh, doing this all uh, uh, different drops here. That's uh, still captured. So if I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop one more table, let's say, or uh, let's say create a database here create database my log okay that's good test you know uh, but looks like uh, you have to restart the service to make it effective uh, otherwise it's gonna keep capturing the information for you so we have see yeah so by just making the changes to the file, it doesn't take effect uh, till you do not uh, restart the service. Um, so if you restart the service, then it will be disabled. Okay, good to learn. Uh, now what we need to do, we need to do same test uh, for our uh, uh, Linux box. So I'm going to connect to the Linux here and see what is the location for uh, general logging. Um, what else we need to do here? Tech Brothers IT and Node 1. Change the appearance. Okay, law uh, 14 is fine. Open. Okay, wrong name. IT. 
node one. When you make mistakes, you make multiple mistakes. I was uh, thinking to uh, change the appearance, uh, change settings, appearance. Okay, good for now. Apply. Okay, now we should provide the username, password for the Linux machine, and that's where I have installed um, my SQL. Okay, I'm uh, making it. Uh, sudo so i don't have to retype over and over so first of all what we would like to take a look uh, uh, here uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, take a look where exactly the file is created or where it should be you know so uh, where it should be first of all if we need to know what we can do we can go to the etc and say etc my.config okay sorry just go to etc for now and say cat uh, my.config uh, that will show you the file so you can see that uh, it doesn't have that uh, general query login and the file name and all that information here so we have to enable it uh, what i'm going to do here the same thing i will do here i will uh, uh, say stop the service so do system ctl stop mysqld okay while it stops the service i'm going to go and grab that uh, two lines of code uh, what's in the uh, we have seen uh, in the log file program data okay here my INI file so it's the same parameters nothing really fancy there so you just have to grab those two lines and paste it there so here say that this one I'm gonna general dash log is equal to zero general log file location so that's what you have to put in the Linux box as well so I'm gonna go to the uh, CD VIM sorry cat vim my.config and uh, the file is open hit escape uh, what is wrong not cat sorry let me clear this so vim uh, my.config okay now escape hit i and come all the way down there you can see my cursor there and just uh, hit uh, uh, right mouse uh, it will paste uh, and just make it one here and now general query login is enabled okay we enabled it and also general query log file is a tech browser it the file location for this one is going to be var lib and mysql so if you want to change it uh, uh, that's the default if you didn't put anything it's going to be var lib and uh, then it's going to be mysql so that's what it will be but if you want to change it to something different so you can always make something different whatever you like so I'm gonna to leave to default to directory for now and show you but you know where to make changes in case you would like to have a different directory hit escape hit a colon and WQ and hit a explanation mark that will save it now we'll go ahead and say uh, system CTL start uh, my SQL D that will start the service okay system ctl start my sql okay so the service will be started okay now we can check the status so we say uh, system status my sql d okay and the service is running and all that we can go to the var lib and go to the my sql okay so if i will do ls minus a you will see the file there so tech browsers it dot log file is created so this is the file that is going to be used by general query login so now you can see the size of it 58 uh, 43 bytes so what i can do here i can uh, log into our linux box here go back and uh, this is my go back here is my linux box okay connect good so we can write our queries here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, write a couple of queries uh, for uh, uh, maybe tech browsers too. There is no table here. Let me see if I have table bubble in. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, this is a database. I have uh, uh, tables. So use, uh, let's say tech browsers new. Okay. So we say select asterisk from uh, EMP underscore CP. If we run this query, and also it didn't return us anything so we go back to Linux here and uh, let me clear the screen and uh, so we say that uh, cat tech brothers 
dot log okay so you can see that this is the last query we ran select asterisk from this we are going to go back to the uh, this uh, workbench and say drop table okay we run this query again and the, the table is dropped so we go now again say select asterisk from so asterisk from mp employee run this query and see if you return some records okay this did return some records we need to go back to linux and see uh, the file there so i'm gonna hit a clear screen first uh, then uh, cat uh, my tech brothers dot dot log okay so you can see here we have a select asterisk from employee we selected a database remember first and the use this database and then we have select asterisk from this table so show indexes from this one so it is the login all the information whatever even a drop table uh, right here so you can see that we drop the table and the, whatever the time we have done it so it's, it has a timestamp uh, date and time with it uh, uh, that kind of really helps you know to take a look at uh, what time the table was uh, dropped or uh, table was created or any query by executed by any um, say connections so I uh, I hope this video will help uh, if you just consider a couple of things uh, this log will grow huge because it is going to capture every query by the connection manager connections so just consider that don't uh, have the location on the same directory where your data is uh, written so that's also like pressure on the same disk so if you can separate the disks uh, and uh, have separate for the log and separate for the data that's great uh, if you can't have it okay fine but uh, then have a lot of storage and uh, uh, define a retention policy for this one so uh, often on delete these uh, files and uh, just uh, purge them or move to some other uh, folders and uh, have enough space for your logs and data thanks very much for watching this video i hope this video will help and i will see you guys in next video